Yo, 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 it's Overflow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? First things first about the gameplay. It's going to be a USAS shotgun Moab. I hope that you guys definitely enjoy the gameplay, man. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and just kind of my opinions and thoughts on the Advanced Warfare um, game. Once again, the... Uh, the deep dive multiplayer trailer came out today. I just watched it, and dude, I'm just—I have to give you my thoughts on it because I see so many people leaving their opinions on the thing, freaking out. Oh my god, this isn't Call of Duty. Oh my god, it's not Call of Duty. It's not the same thing. But I just gotta give you guys my opinions, and of course, in the comment section below, I want you guys to tell me your opinions on Advanced Warfare, along with your opinions on the actual trailer. If you guys haven't seen the new trailer, I'm gonna go ahead and link it in the description below. It's pretty awesome. They go a little bit more in depth, tell us what's going on with the whole game, and kind of give us a lot more information. Um, then we already, you know what? We already have all this information from all the commentators, but they basically break it down for us, and I personally really enjoyed it. What's up, flows? Don't you know who's I love? All of you. So, anyways, you guys, I just took off my shirt because this is gonna be intense gonna be an intense commentary so as always when are they not intense subscribe if you're new leave a like also i don't feel like enough of you guys are following me on twitter and on instagram and stuff like that that's all linked in the description below and you can buy cool shirts in the description so whatever i have to tell you guys you know so anyways you guys they kind of broke down some of the stuff and i gotta be honest with you so many people are complaining hey this isn't the call of duty that we all know and love this isn't the same thing we want a call of duty um, like Modern Warfare, we want a regular Call of Duty, we want this, blah blah blah, nobody wants a futuristic thing. But, it's funny that the people, because this is how it works you guys, the people with the most negative opinions are generally the ones that are heard. You could have a hundred people saying the game looks great, but one guy saying the game looks like crap is gonna be heard over everybody else. Because as humans, we kind of look for the bad in things. I don't know why that has to be that way, but it's how we are, we notice the bad things. and. Remember, every year when Call of Duty gets released, people are always like, Oh, hey, Call of Duty is the same thing rehashed year after year. It's like the Madden of FPS games. It's literally the same exact game every single year. Why do people buy it? This sucks. I wish they would do something new. Well, guess what? Now they're doing something new. Now they're doing something cool. And everybody's complaining about it again. So that just goes to show that no matter what works, no matter... Okay, as long as you're successful, people are going to hate on what it is. And you know what? I've learned it myself... I try not to pay attention to the haters. Um, do it does it get to me sometimes? Yeah, sure, sometimes it does. But for the most part, dude, at this point in my YouTube, I've been doing YouTube for like three years now, and for the most part, man, man, forget Final Stand, that thing sucks. But for the most part, dude, most of the haters are either like 13 year olds that have no idea what they're doing because their adult brains haven't formed yet. Um, and if you're 13, but you do, or you're pretty cool in general, then I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the ones who don't have fully formed adult brains yet. Um, or they're like 25 year old weird guys that like if you saw them in public you would like avoid them because they're kind of like weird you know what I mean like the weird like loser guys yeah so I don't care about what any hater has to say but basically if you're successful man people are gonna hate on you no matter what and that's where Call of Duty is at now for me dude I'm stoked I'm super pumped super excited for the next Call of Duty Advanced Warfare looks fun dude it looks like simple mindless fun just like Call of Duty should be. I think Call of Duty should be simple and fun. You got a jetpack, you're gonna be flying around. That exosuit looks super dope in my opinion. You got the exosuit, you're gonna be able to boost jump, boost dash, dash forward, dash backwards. All that stuff looks cool to me. It's gonna bring a skill gap to Call of Duty. And um, on top of that, you got the exo abilities. Oh yeah, before we go into that, guys, I'm doing a video spree, so as soon as my videos hit 100 likes, I'll be uploading a new video for you guys. Um, I think the next video I'll upload is gonna be a Q&A. I know you guys love those. It's gonna be a solo Q&A. So yeah, as soon as this hits 100 likes, new video coming your way. And um, yeah, so the exosuit, man, what, what else? Oh yeah, the exo abilities, you guys, they covered that to stuff that we already knew. It's stuff that we all, we all know pretty much what's going on in Advanced Warfare. They've revealed pretty much everything. Obviously, some of the weapons aren't revealed yet and stuff. But for the most part, dude, I remember back in the day, Call of Duty used to be so secretive. Like, they would reveal a very tiny amount. Like, we get a couple trailers and that was it. Maybe some inside info. But dude, it was so secretive, and I really like those days, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Because right now, everything's revealed, and when you get it, it's not so much of a surprise. But um, dude, I hope that they didn't reveal, I hope that there's still enough hidden information that we really are surprised when we get the game. Because dude, it looks fun, man. And those exo abilities, bro, you got like the cloak, you can hide yourself, obviously, people are complaining about that. Cloak lasts like what, like 15 seconds, dude? And you can still see people. Titanfall had a cloak as well, Killzone has a cloak, but Killzone cloak is pretty good. But um, Titanfall's cloak, 
Uh, you can still see people pretty easily. I don't think there's going to be really a problem with the cloak too much. And on top of that, dude, what about... They got the cloak, they got, like, stim, which makes you regenerate health faster. They got the overclock, which makes you go faster. Um, they have the shield, where you bring out a riot shield out of nowhere, dude. And I like the hover. The hover ability seems pretty cool. You basically fly around for a couple seconds. I think that you can probably only fly around for, like, five seconds. But, um, you throw that on with the, uh, the, uh, the more battery life. And you should be able to fly around for like a good 10 seconds, dude. I know me, I'm going to be sniping, dude. If I can fly up in the air for like 10 seconds, it's going to be fun, dude. I'm super excited. And there's the Moab right there. I'm super excited for Advanced Warfare. I'm pumped. The deep dive trailer definitely looks good to me. Um, those were my thoughts on that whole trailer thing. If you guys seen it, let me know. If you haven't, it will be linked below. And uh, if you made it to the end of the video, let's say... Uh, ooh, look, I'm flying right there. That's awesome. Say a uh, jetpack jump if you made it to the end of the video. Or boobs. I don't really care. Love you. Subscribe if you're new. 100 likes gets you a new video. And I am over and out.